Hello and welcome to the top of the world. Can you hear that in the background? Water running, dripping, birds singing. It's the beginning of the end. Five hours it took me to dig this channel out here. I've completely lost control of it this year, my bad. So that was level all the way through. Now I've had to break all this ice out, dig a channel around the corner, and it'll run off down there. Now it's a beautiful day. I definitely don't need my hood up, but the sun, my ears. I've got to, I've got to have my hood up. And I should have glasses on and I haven't. Anyway, so we're working on things. I want to get the yard set back up for wood processing. You can see there's quite a build up of snow where we put those away. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unsheet this because <coughs> I want to sit in there in my rocking chair and have my cup of coffee. Obviously, look. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Casper's new haircut. Right, he's clippered. So he's ready. Okay. I can't remember the date of the video we did of sheeting this lot up, but it had been October, might have been late September. So we're, we're seven months later, and now we can start to unsheet. And the reason I want to unsheet now is because I don't want these sheets getting stuck in the ice because it'll ruin the sheets. At the moment, there's just snow at the bottom of the sheets. And by the end of the day, there'll be ice.
I've just got one sheet there stuck in the ice. I'll have a scrape around with the tractor and see if we can get that snow away and that melt. Well, we'll just clear all this up now. Get the sawmill open. I'm ready. Hold this lot up. Yeah.
Messy, 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 messy. Anyway, there we go. Right, I've just got to knock that post out of there, move all this stuff off the sawmill, and um, rack that lot, put the bin out, drag the tool trolley out of the way, and we're good to go. Yeah, not bad. Here's the thing about the early melts. So before, as I've explained, all the cants used to be under sheets and the sheets used to get stuck in ice and you couldn't take them off. They were saturated. Well, you need to get the sheets off to get the wind blowing through. That's the gaps in the back, right? You'll know all that. Look at that. That went like that when I covered it all in. So what is this big thing here? Well, none of you have seen this. Right, I started this, oh, I don't know, five or six years ago. I'm going to carve a trout in here. This is going to be a toadstool. This is actually a large sofa bench made out of one, one tree. Very rare to get trees this size. Anyway, you can see the blowing starting, so we've opened up the right time. What we need is some wind now to get through there. And uh, not let this get too too blue and too mouldy in there. That's not gone well. That's not gone well at all. So currently the snowmobile is stuck. Right there, inside the snowmobile building. And it's got gravel on the way in and gravel on the way out and there's pretty much gravel everywhere. Have we seen temperatures well into double digits? Yep. Has all this in the yard melted in the last four days? Yes, it has. Is the temperature currently in double digits? Yeah, it is. So, there we go. Is the sap starting to rise? Yeah, it's definitely thinking about it. Have I finished cutting? Nope. Can I get back up into the forest? Or I've got two other pieces of land to cut from. Not on the snowmobile. Can I get the tractor in? Not yet. So, we're going to have to dig out an old sled, put our equipment on, and pull it into the forest on foot so that we can finish cutting. Well, here's an add on. Today's uh, April 26th. Yeah. Anyway, the good Lord has granted me a bit of relief from the melt. Was there any snow here? Yeah, a little bit. Was there any snow on the roads and in the yard? No. Did it snow overnight and is it going to snow all day? Yes. So I've taken the opportunity to grab the snowmobile, the scooter here, and uh, just come and start plucking the tops. Because I can. Uh, yeah, I've been doing other things for the last couple of days because you can't do nothing. Anyway, here we go. It's uh, it's snowing and I'm just going to nip through and pick up as many of the tops as I can. Get them back to the yard. That saved me a bit of a, a, bit, of a, a bit of time uh, when I come out here with a forward. Also, it's a really nice day to be out. And I didn't think I was going to be able to get the snowmobile out again this year. I thought that was it. Anyway, here we are. So I'm thankful for that. So I'll carry on. I was on my way out to get the fishing boat out. No, not really, which is just as well. There was no snow here yesterday, not in the yard. It was empty, clear, gone. Now there's loads, now four inches so far, five inches now, four inches this morning. There we go. We've still got access to our chair though. Look at that, lovely. Oh, huh. you're not supposed to see that. Yeah, I like that. Where's the ball? <sighs> he was just starting to have fun ripping his claws open on the gravel. 
and um, now he's back to dancing in the snow. Is it cold? No, it's warming up to the extent that while I'm sat here, I've just seen a big rip appear in the woodshed roof. What that means is that snow's going to let go and slide off. That's how you know. This ain't going to give up, though. I have ploughed this morning with the bucket, you can see there. But I was hoping not to do it again tomorrow morning, but we'll have to see how much comes down. So I should imagine this is going to be one of the last entries on this video before I, I send it all for you for uh, comment, criticism and laughter. So you will have a great day and I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, if you enjoy the content, give it a thumbs up. It helps the uh, YouTube algorithm. If you're not subscribed, press the old button. Lots of interesting content coming from me. Have a good day. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.